Hey guys, what's up? It's macOS Guru X. Today we're going to be showing you the components that you'll need to build your computer. This will be part of my Building Your Computer series. I recently just built my own gaming computer, which I'm going to be inserting pictures after this video. So if you'd like to skip to those pictures, click right here. Alright, so now that you can click and see those pictures or see them at the end, we're going to get started with the components. So here's what I put in mine. This is a motherboard. This is going to be one of the most important parts of your product. Now the actual thing is not in here as with most of these because it's in my computer, but you'll see the pictures and you can look at the inside of my computer. We'll have a different video on assembling your computer, but for right now, we're going to get started with this component video. So the motherboard you're going to want to make sure is compatible with your processor that you buy. So you can see in this corner here you have a supports Intel Core. You've got Intel chipset here. So you want to make sure that you're buying a motherboard for the type of processor you're going to get. Now there are two types of processors out there, major brands. So you're going to want to buy either Intel or the other one. It's really up to you. There's no clear winner when it comes to speed, in my opinion. You're also going to want to look at the socket type. This is an LGA1155 socket. You're going to want to make sure that your um, processor, processor is the same socket type so it will fit into your motherboard. What happens is the processor goes into the motherboard on a little socket and then you place the heatsink over that and that will be an entire fan just dedicated to the processor that goes on that, but that's included in the processor. So on this motherboard we have a bunch of things such as graphics update. This has a integrated graphics card in it, however you can attach your own graphics card, which is what I did. But if you want to wait on purchasing a graphics card, such as I bought a low-end graphics card, and if you just want to use the integrated one, you don't want to game on your computer, you'll be fine. But if you want to game, you know, and you want to save money to buy a really expensive graphics card, you know, get this fast graphics, then that's really up to you. What we also have here is double USB 3.0 ports on here. And we also have a BIOS menu that's pretty, pretty different than most that I've seen. But I did use old computers. So... On the back, it just has an overview of all the features of it. Here you can see a picture of the actual motherboard. You can see where everything is, where the CPU goes, where your RAM will go. You've got HDMI ports, USB ports, the Ethernet port, audio ports, all that kind of stuff. And you've got the PCI cards. So we're going to put this apart, uh, aside now. And we're going to move on to another part of the motherboard and that's going to be your processor. So it's going to come in if you buy an Intel one in a package like this. This is a Sandy Bridge one. So you're going to want to look up here and you'll have the processor in that little hole. You've got info on the back, you've got private detail there. But here you're going to see that it is the exact same socket. You're going to have an LGA1155 because that's the socket that is on my motherboard. So this is the Intel Core i7 processor i7-2600. It's a pretty decent processor. I have never had any problems with this. It's got four cores on it. It's really amazing. Uh, I run games on max setting with my, this and my graphics card and it's just fantastic. So this is going to go on your motherboard into a little slot. You're also going to have to be very careful. This is very fragile and it's very small, very thin, so you're going to want to be very careful when you install this later on. But you're definitely going to need one of these to run your computer. It really is the brain of your computer. Next you're going to want to have RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. So the more RAM you have, the more kind of multitasking stuff you'll be able to handle and do at the same time, along with working with your graphics card and your uh, processor. So RAM, I've got here crucial RAM. My computer can handle up to 16. You're going to want to look at that on your computer specs that you're building, specifically the motherboard, to see how much RAM your computer can handle. It varies from 4 to 8 to 16 to I've even seen like 42 gigs of RAM on a motherboard. 
So here I just have eight gigs of RAM. I have four RAM slots on my motherboard. So each of these was two sticks per package. You can see it's two two gigabyte uh, sticks. You're gonna wanna check when you're purchasing a motherboard and RAM how what the pin count is. You can see here it's you'll have the pin count right here and you right here, and you're gonna wanna make sure that the RAM you're buying will fit into the motherboard that you're buying and you're going to want to buy as much as you want. You can also exchange this at later dates if you want different RAM. You can purchase a different size stick and upgrade that so you can have more RAM if you're finding that you're doing a lot of tasks that you need more RAM to speed it up. So that's basically the motherboard. Now an optional motherboard part will be your graphics card. You can see here I got a kind of low-end one of the newer models, the cheapest one, the 550 Ti from GTX for uh, the GTX model. Um, this is 3D capable, Direct uh, X11, all that good stuff. You can see a picture of what it looks like there. This right here is what actually plugs into the motherboard. You slide it into the PCI slot, and this sticks out the back of your computer and gives you a nice little plug-in display. You've got the mini you uh, mini HDMI, excuse me, and you've got two DVI ports that you can plug in monitors to. So you'll be using this rather than the built-in graphics card on your uh, motherboard. So that was an error that I had when I set up my computer. I plugged in my monitor to the motherboard graphics instead of this graphics card and I was like where's my picture and I switched the plug and I was up and running so you're gonna wanna buy a graphics card definitely if you're looking into gaming because you're not gonna run anything on a integrated graphics card on your motherboard so next we're gonna look at probably the most important part some cases that you're gonna buy for your computer will come with this already but Regardless, you're going to want to probably buy a more powerful one. This is a 650 watt one, and I definitely suggest this as kind of a minimum that you're going to be building a computer for. This is a power supply, and it's going to supply all of the power to your computer, hence the name power supply. So we're going to go ahead and look at what's included here. So on the back, you've got a list of everything included here. Right here, you've got the 24 pin and 20 pin compatible ATX cord, you've got PCI connectors, the SATA floppy disk, you know, whatever. It comes with all these, you don't have to use all of them, but this is going to be what connects everything to power so it's able to function, whether it's hard drives, all that kind of stuff. So this is going to plug in. This big one plugs right onto your motherboard and supplies your motherboard with power. So regardless if your case comes with a power supply or not, I suggest upgrading to at least one that, you know, the one I have here, which is the 650. It's really, really, it's powerful, you know, you're not going to get anything that can't handle this bad boy. So, lastly, or second to last, we're going to go to a pretty important part. You're going to go to a hard drive. Now, this is an older one. This isn't actually... I took this out of an old computer that we had, and this is going to be where everything's plugged in. You're going to plug it in through the back here, right here to this port right here, and this is going to be where you have your hard drive space. So definitely you're going to need one of these. Furthermore, you're going to need a, dry, a CD drive. Now I don't have a, I'm going to display a picture right now of a CD drive, and I definitely suggest getting your CD drive from you know any cheap company they're not really they're they're going to run you about twenty dollars anything more than that i'd say is a ripoff because you really do not need a blu-ray any of that kind of stuff you're just going to want a simple dvd C, uh, cd drive that you can pick up now you can either use on your desktop the ethernet cord port to plug in for internet or you can buy a separate card here you can get either a usb a USB adapter for wireless internet or you can also go ahead and you can buy a P 
PCI card slot that plugs in just like your graphics card and sticks out the back that will give you a wireless antenna. So I picked myself up this since I am upstairs and unable to plug into my router directly or my modem for that purpose. So those are the major components. Now you can also going to want to pick up a case to put this all in, which is pretty important. I will have a picture of my computer now, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I know a whole bunch of YouTubers like to help out, and including myself, we will kind of help you out, guide you. You know, will this work with my computer? There's a bunch of forums out there. But those are the major components that you're going to be looking for in a computer. Now keep in mind you're going to have to learn how to build this thing which can be pretty complicated and risky because you do have a chance of shocking your computer. When you shock a motherboard processor it basically is useless. So you're going to want to make sure you follow an instruction guide on building this because there are precautionary steps that you're going to take. But I mean I am a teenager you know. I built my own computer, had no issues with it, got it up and running. So it's not like it's rocket science, it's not like it's really hard, but you are going to have to read a guide on how to install each component, which I will have coming up in the couple next couple of weeks, guys. So definitely tell me what you think of my computer. Pictures will be showing up after this, and thanks for watching, guys.